Right, police have established a uh, homicide investigation in relation to the death of a woman in Brisbane City yesterday who was found in Wickham, Street, Wickham Park. We have identified that person as a 23-year-old Korean national. Her family have not been contacted and we have been in contact with the Korean consulate. Uh, so I cannot give any further details as far as her identity. Our preliminary investigation suggests that she left her home near the Roma Street parklands at about 4am. She walked through the parklands to, to do her job as a cleaner, to head to work, and from there she has approached Albert Street, where she has been attacked. We have sought and canvassed a number of persons who have been witnesses or who were in the area at the time. However, we are appealing to members of the public who were in the area at the time, regardless of what they saw or heard, to come forward and give police information. We are specifically asking that a witness who saw a shirtless male, sorry, I'll start that. We have a witness who saw a shirtless male in the area at the time of the uh, attack. We believe this man may be able to assist us in our in with our inquiries. And we are also asking for any witnesses or any persons who may have seen this shirtless male in the vicinity around Albert Street or the Roma Street parklands between 4am and 5am on Sunday morning. Obviously, any information can be provided to Crime Stoppers. That witness was shirtless? No. He was seen in the vicinity of where the uh, deceased was located. Uh, and uh, decamp the scene. Yes, that's correct. All we have at this point in time is a, a lone male person uh, of slim build, approximately 180 centimetres in height, wearing no shirt. There was no uh, indication of any other erratic behaviour. What about jeans, shorts, shoes? No other description. And in what direction was that person seen walking or running? The male was seen to leave through Wickham Park. Can you describe the woman, um, the victim? The victim is a 23-year-old uh, uh, Korean national. Uh, she is uh, short in stature and slim build. And obviously, she was dressed to uh, to attend her uh, cleaning duties. Where she work? She was working in uh, the Brisbane CBD. I can't give you any further specific details there. Was she also displayed as heavy in work? No. Was that the usual way of getting to work, or the usual path that she would take to get to work? All I can tell you is that on that day, she chose to walk that path to work. She lived in the apartments at Roma Street. And did, um, sorry, did she live in a Roma school? No, she was part of a uh, foreign exchange youth group who were uh, who had obtained uh, employment here in Brisbane. Is there any evidence yet that she's been sexually assaulted? No evidence. She died, she was alleged to have died to death. There were head injuries visible on the body. However, our post-mortem examinations haven't been completed, so I can't give you any further detail as far as her injuries. Do you know if We don't believe any implement was used. Do you believe um, bushes or? No. Has any skin been captured on security footage? We're canvassing all areas at the moment, all throughout the Brisbane CV CBD, to collect as much CCTV as we can. Um, that area has no specific CCTV in the area. Was the shirtless man caught on CCTV? Not at this stage. She was dressed. She was dressed to, to, to go to her cleaning job. Any idea of a motive if she wasn't robbed or sexually? I can't give you any idea at, the, at this stage. The passerby who reported her and who saw this witness, was that a male or female? A male witness. And who was, for those of you who didn't hear, what, exactly what time did he find her? Police were called to attend at that location about 4.20am. I can't give you any detail as far as that's concerned. What about her personal belongings? How many of those found in Roma Street Parklands? 
None. Any details? None. Anywhere? I can't give you any specific details as far as. I can't confirm that at this, at this stage. So you don't have to make uh, belief on that at this point in time? That's right. Any of your friends followed him or she was following him any amount of time? I can't give you any details as far as that's concerned. When you say there was no evidence she was sexually assaulted, does that mean you, you ruled it out or there's just no evidence that she was out? There's no evidence at this stage. Did she marry someone? I couldn't give you that detail at the moment. Um, as far as I know, it was a, uh, a youth exchange group. Who ran it? I don't know. When you say she ran it recently, it's only, you know, that a roughly about what you She arrived in Australia in October. Did the campsite uh, right near where um, the blood was found, uh, there were people there at the time? We canvassed all persons in the area. Is it believed she was attacked on Albert Street and then dragged to the campsite? Yes. Yes. Was she found um, sort of nearby a tree or behind a tree? She was found in Wickham Park, that's all the detail I can give you. How terribly did this uh, young woman come here, presumably for a better life, only six weeks ago? Obviously it's tragic circumstances at this point. We uh, can't sort of give you any further detail as to what the motive was or, or or what specifically occurred. However, uh, it's obviously a, uh, a brutal crime and we'll be determined to solve it as quickly as possible. Has the matter of corrupt abuse on CCTV camera investigation been investigated? Did you go through uh, recent sets of numbers and issues in that if you were in that area or anything like that? Everything that we do as far as our homicide investigations, we, we uh, cover in as much detail as, possi as possible. We don't leave any stone unturned. I can't give you any specific details as far as that's concerned. That's probably all I can give you guys at the moment. The witness though who saw this shirtless man walking through the park, um, did he say that the, that man was just walking away? There was nothing kind of done with him about his behaviour? This man was seen in the vicinity where the deceased was found. That's all I can give you at this stage, guys. Why do you Has want to talk to him? Do you believe he could... Well, he's obviously a person of interest, uh, whether that be a... Uh, a suspect. We don't. We can't establish at that stage. This stage, but uh, he's obviously seen something or been in the area at the uh, at the time, and we need to get as much information from him as we possibly can. Did you have issues with him carrying a handbag? Was there handbags on the ground? I couldn't give you any detail as far as that's concerned. Thank you. Thank you.